So we are going to illustrate uh, some of the digital resources for archaeology uh, created by our institute, uh, uh, Institute for the Ancient Mediterranean Studies of the National Resource Council. <coughs> Open, <coughs> sorry. Open digital resources for archaeology and cultural heritage have become in recent years the subject of extensive debate and increasing attention. Projects have multiplied and several conferences focus on this issue. Uh, our institute has been engaged uh, uh, for a long time in this area of studies. In fact, since the late 60s, CNR has paid particular attention to the so-called ancillary sciences borrowed from natural and social disciplines applied to archaeology and to the methodological renewal started by these tools. One of the first projects we can mention is the automation of Etruscan corpora, which concerned in particular stone funeral urns made in the Hellenistic age in Volterra and its cultural and political territory by means of the experimentation of mathematical and statistical techniques. With regard, to, with regard to the application of computer techniques for the study and classification of archaeological artifacts, in the early 80s, our institute devoted a research line that found a steady editorial point of reference and place of convergence for theoretical as well as methodological debate in the International Journal Archaeology e Calculatori. This journal was studied in 1990 by Mauro Cristofani and Riccardo Frankovic under the direction of Paola Moscati. The stimulus to launch a new journal came from an analysis of the, this field of studies in Italy. The growing interest and the recognition of the positive introduction of computers in archaeology needed to have a stable point of reference in order to collect projects and diffuse the results of Italian research internationally and vice versa. The journal was established with the idea of publishing in a homogeneous and systematic way the results of computing researches carried out in the field of historical archaeology, offering an up-to-date edition of projects in progress, both in Italy and abroad. The journal covers three distinct parts. Focusing on methodological approaches, it collects articles concerning theoretical aspects of archaeological computing, as well as reports on programs conducted by international institutions. The main section contains articles on various computer applications, such as databases, geographical information systems, quantitative methods, expert systems, computer graphics, image processing, multimedia, and web tools. The third aspect of the journal offers book reviews and bibliographic news, providing readers with an up-to-date source of documentation. In the 90s, the Institute started also a new research project in the field of archaeological data processing. First of all, the CERI project, started in 1996 by Mauro Cristofani, which concerned the computerization of the excavation carried out by our Institute together with the Superintendenza Archaeologica per l'Etruria Meridionale in the central area of the urban plateau of the ancient Etruscan town of Cerveteri. This project resulted in the setting up of a multimedia excavation geographical information system, which allowed operating inside a flexible and dynamic data processing model, where it was possible to simultaneously visualize and analyze information of different kinds by emphasizing the concept of the geographical and historical context of the archaeological evidences. It represented the model as a basis for future interpretation and analysis of the results. In the framework of this project, an innovating procedure was followed in order to recover the textual data from the fieldwork. To encode the yearly excavation diaries in hypertext format, the extensible markup language was used. This has allowed testing new kinds of queries and information retrieval in order to diachronically investigate the different stages of the excavation and to organize the documentation relative to the different areas until finally reaching the essential association and the subsequent analysis of finds using a statistical approach. As a result of these experiences, related to text encoding, websites, and knowledge sharing, since 2005, in addition to the paper format, Archaeologia Calculatori became accessible also online, providing the more than 1,700 papers published since 1998 in PDF, downloadable, and printable. The journal is now included in the directory of open access journals 
the repertoire of electronic journals freely accessible online created by the University of Lund. Lund. The adhesion to the open access philosophy is closely connected to the policy of the journal, which has always been attentive to the formalization of languages and the multimedia communication, aspects that have certainly provoked a technological and at the same time cultural change in archaeological research. The uploading to the web of the journal, also thanks to the publisher Alinsegna del Giglio, has been designed through the creation of a repository where resources are described by Dublin Core Metadata, complaining the OAI PMH scheme, uh, Open Archives Initiative Protocol for Metadata, I guess. The repository of archaeology and calculatory is a valuable reference tool to follow the development and evolution of methodologies, <coughs> techniques, and projects related to archaeological computing. Looking at the recent developments of the journal that has reached number 25, uh, we could mention three important news. The first is the growing number of supplements that annually accompany the regular issue. In 2014, it was published Archeosema, Artificial Adaptive Systems for the Analysis of Complex Phenomena, collected papers in honor of David Leonard Clark, edited by Marco Ramazzotti. And this year, the publication of the conference Archeofos, Archaeological Free Open Source Software, and the CETA, the Territorial and Archaeological Informatics System of Rome, proceedings are scheduled. The second news is that the website registered an increasing number of visitors from almost all countries of the world, even as far away as China, Brazil, and Australia. Every day, about 20, 30 people visit the site, reaching an annual amount of about 6,000. And the journal is indexed in the 39th place among the Italian journals on Google Scholar. Thirdly, we have recently created a Twitter account, like other projects online, such as Internet Archaeology or Fasti Online, that reports the latest news on the journal, but also more generally on open access and archaeological computing. During the last years, other projects of the Institute have been uploaded online, all supported by a wide range engagement aiming at exploiting the web as an environment for consulting and sharing research and for free circulation of scientific data. In 2006, the use of innovative technologies related to communication and multimedia have been behind the project Principi Sabini on the results of the archaeological research conducted by our institute in the Sabina area. A dedicated website hosts the reconstruction of the funerary set and the 3D animated reconstruction of the cart from tomb 11 of the necropolis of Colle del Forno. Virtual reality was applied here for the first time in reconstructing an etruscatalic vehicle, and it should be noted that the virtual dimension exponentially increases the comprehension of the mechanism of the reconstruction. More recently, we wish to mention some projects realized by using the content management system open source, Museo and Web. This CMS is a content management platform that allows creating and updating quality websites easily accessible, intended for <coughs> museums and cultural institutions in more languages and fully web. It was developed a few years ago as part of the European project Minerva, launched in 2002 under the aegis of the Ministry of Culture. The software is free. The CMS allows those who run the website autonomy and simplicity in the insertion of content, yet also a strong interactivity for browsing online. A website easy to complete also meets the need to easily update the individual cards or add new ones in parallel with the progress of the research. The system includes a series of standard forms for the management of content, which may be hierarchically organized. Among these, the record sheet opera for the publication of data sheets of artwork, whose fields are a synthetic expression of the OA art object or RA archaeological object record proposed by the Central Institute for Cataloging and Documentation. <clears throat> one of the websites developed by this system is the one devoted to the Cerveteri Necropolis, realized in 2004 when the UNESCO declared the Etruscan Necropolis of Cerveteri and Tarquinia World Heritage. In this website, apart from the data on the Etruscan town, the territory, and necropolis, and the museum, you can consult some virtual itineraries inside the Banditaccia necropolis. The CMS was also applied in the website of the Virtual Museum of Archaeological Computing, managed by Paola Moscati in cooperation with the Centro Linceo Interdisciplinare Benemino Segre of the Accademia Nazionale dei Lincei, and some ISMA researchers. 
This website aims at showing the roots and the development of this discipline at an international level by pointing out the related institutions, studies and main actors. Also, the web website provides several itineraries, not geographical, of course, but theoretical and methodological, to reach some important stages of archaeological computing in an interactive way. In fact, there is a useful tool for the researcher interested in archaeological computing, a bibliography of the 90s from, from, with about 2,500 titles, which has been implemented into a database within the CMS and made interactive through links to the available online material. Now, the implementing of the sections relating to the 50s, 60s, and 70s is underway, especially with regard to the researchers who in those years have marked the history of the discipline with their studies, the institution involved, and the innovative projects. The site will be enriched with a section on cultural itineraries with multimedia files, which provides a brief historical overview of some of the archaeological computing guidelines. In addition to the text, you can also listen to short audios, watch videos, and deepen the covered topics with references to the repository of archaeology e calculatori, or more generally to the resource on the web. We are pleased to show the cataloging sheet, which will serve as the prototype of others in draft. The icons at the center link to intervention of Oreste Signori and Eduardo Vesentini on the first projects of informatics catalog cataloging in Italy in the 70s while the icons below provide useful research tools to explore the topic in its various aspects. Another project online realized with CMS Museum, Museum and Web concerns the rich bronze collection of the Museum Claudio Faina in Orvieto. The website is named Settlants, Bronzi del Museo Faina. The Faina collection was started in 1864 by the Counts Mauro and Eugenio, interested in the antiquities that were found during the excavations in the necropolis of Orvieto. Open to the public in 1954, this rich collection contains about 1,000 bronze objects from the Bronze Age to the Roman period. The website dedicated to the Faina bronzes was graphically customized, choosing the green color that recalls the bronze material, and built with some general files dedicated to the story of the Faina collection, the bronzes and the collectors. The most important bronzes are divided by category and analyzed through more in-depth records also provided with links to other online databases from major museums, as the British or the Metropolitan, or regional ones, as the database of Umbrian superintendents for archaeological heritage. Thus, for example, a bronze oinoko dated in the 4th, 3rd century BC, that belonged to a group of array oinokoi from Umbria in south and central Etruria, is virtually connected to similar specimen specimens preserved in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York while the helmet plate from the necropolis of Crucifisso del Tufo, with Heracles in combat, is connected to a similar one in the British Museum in London. The database helps the researchers interested in Etruscan bronzes productions, especially from Chiusi, Orvieto, Perugia, and their territories. The choice of realizing an open online archive of data was suggested by the wish of creating a new tool accessible to the highest number of users, the scholars of art and archaeology who can exploit new technologies for their own research and for the exchange of information, but also people fond of archaeology and interest in Etruscan art. The object database includes over 450 bronzes which, with a short analytic card and the images. As for the engine web, the SMS Museum and Web is designed so as to encourage research that are made by spiders, the agents of the research engines, that explore the web to retrieve content and information. In accordance with the guidelines of the World Wide Web Consortium, Museum and Web CMS makes it possible to easily create metadata for various web pages in accordance with the structure given by the Dublin Core and offers the possibility to group the data according to the hierarchical structure of the site. In doing so, those who fill the records can avoid repeating data entry in all the pages of the site where they wish them to be present. Google is particularly sensitive to keywords and description. In the case of the Faina Bronze site, these metadata fields have been compiled for the general pages and for those on the bronzes of greater importance. From April 2014, the website counter has detected more than 600 hits, 
By analyzing the access area of region, we observe that there is a good interest in Europe and United States. In conclusion, we would like to mention an interesting project of our institute realized by Francesco Di Filippo and Maurizio Del Freo, which does not concern the Italic sector, but linear B texts. The project, called LIBER, aims at producing a fully future digital edition of the linear B documents available to date, with a substantial addition of a brand new search engine for the treatment of logosyllabic scripts. The ultimate goal of LIBER is to provide the linear B scholars and all those who are interested in the Mycenaean world with an update edition of the linear B documents, as well as with an integrated searching tool able to sort, filter, and combine the documents on the basis of textual, archaeological, paleographic, and topographic criteria. All documents stored in LIBER are reproduced from the current paper editions and are updated with any relevant information about classification, readings, joints, scribble hands, fine spots, or chronologies. Thank you. Thank you.